this short uh, video, I'm going to introduce uh, the definition of BIM. Of course, there's uh, hundreds of definitions of BIM out there. Um, this is the definition I'm going to use consistently across all videos for the BIM framework. So, how can we define BIM? Um, the BIM framework adopts a very general and wide definition of BIM. It first says that it is BIM means building information modeling. It's not building information model, uh, like uh, uh, some uh, companies and users and researchers, especially in the US, uh, use uh, the BIM acronym for. So we're gonna be using building information modeling. And building information modeling is defined as a set of technologies, processes, and policies. So it's not just about technologies and tools, software but it's also about processes but it also doesn't stop at processes and workflows it also includes uh, policies and protocols and stuff like that and these technologies processes and policies combined they enable multiple stakeholders so we are discussing really all uh, the supply chain across the whole uh, project uh, life cycle um, designers uh, contractors operators uh, to collaboratively um, together, whether uh, by exchanging or interchanging, and we're gonna be covering this in the future, um, to design, construct, and operate a facility. So really, we're discussing the whole life cycle here. And when we say facility, we don't, we don't just mean a building. Uh, it could be a bridge, it could be an, you know, an airport, even you can extend it uh, to include some mining facilities and uh, train stations and, and other overlaps with uh, other acronyms like GIS. So another way of understanding building information modeling is to flip the term. So by saying we are trying to model information, so we are modeling or shaping, forming, presenting, scoping information uh, with an organized set of data uh, to do something to this building, to that structure. Uh, so through this information, we are trying to virtually construct uh, that building or to extend the analysis of it or to maybe calculate the construction cost of it. And we're gonna cover this in the future on something called model uses. Another aspect of building information modeling, which is very important in order to separate what is BIM and what's not BIM is the type of um, underlying technology you're using. And we are always discussing building information modeling as an object-based uh, technology where we have these typical objects like a column or a window or a door um, being embedded inside a building, um, which is actually a database. And by embedding these into a building, we are um, still, these objects are still persistent. They do not dissolve within that building, so we can still query them, we can still count them, we can add specifications to them, etc. So we are really, when we're discussing building information modeling as a term, we are depending, of course, basically on using um, object-based technologies in order to um, de 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 develop, deliver a, a facility. Finally, uh, there are five typical uh, deliverables of BIM. So if we're using building information modeling tools, workflows and processes and policies, we are expecting to deliver five main uh, types of deliverables. Of course, there are hundreds of possible deliverables, uh, but they, they, are, they fall under five main types. Uh, this is just a basic understanding of them. We're going to be covering this in more detail under model uses. But if you are using them, you can expect, you don't have to, but you can expect to get some parametric, algorithmic, uh, 3D graphical views, to get some 2D uh, drawings out of the 3D model, and you are expecting to get some scheduling um, quantities out of the model and specifications. And most importantly, you are also expecting to get some kind of uh, model-based analysis uh, or spatial um, uh, design for, for thermal design, for seismic design, wind studies. Also, we're gonna be covering this under something specific we call it the BIM uses or, or model uses. I hope uh, this definition makes sense to you uh, in the future as we add more videos. Hopefully all things will look very well connected for you. If you have any comments, please don't hesitate to contact me um, personally using uh, the information provided on the YouTube channel or on BIM Framework, BIM, BIM framework info.